only then it is possible to have an adequate view of the cervix for interpretation. Exactly the cervix must look at you, that is the entire cervix, both the ecto cervix with the os in the center position should be um, visualized for a proper interpretation of the report. So, the interpretation is according to 2011 International Federation of Cervical Pathology and Colposcopy nomenclature and this is the one that they have been advised to follow so that there could be an uniformity in diagnosis, treatment and research. So, the next thing that we do in colposcopy is if the cervix is not covered with mucus or profuse discharge which can be mopped away using a wet saline soaked swab is to observe the blood vessel pattern. The picture here shows you the normal blood vessel pattern. The minor lesions or grade 1 lesions have 4 important features namely a thin cytovite epithelium that is slow to form and rapid to disappear. It is thin, transparent, glossy with irregular geographical borders a fine mosaic and punctations could be there classified into type 1, type 2 and type 3. So, here what is the difference between the new squamous columnar junction and the transformation zone? The new squamous columnar junction is the inner margin of the transformation zone. The transformation zone is an area that is bounded between the old squamous columnar junction and the new squamous columnar junction. It is an area of constant mitotic activity, a dynamic area and the normal process that happens here in this zone is metaplasia. When this area is infected with human papilloma virus, there is dysplasia going on. <coughs> 